In order to calculate the number of periods of compound interest, we have two formulas. The first one is an accurate formula, second one is an approximate formula. Approximate formula, it will give you an approximation, but it's not that accurate, but it will be very close to the accurate number of periods. So the accurate formula is the ln formula. So our m is equal to ln future value divided by present value, all of this divided by ln 1 plus i. The approximate formula will be rule of 72. So our n is equal to 72 divided by interest rate times 100, which means you get 72 divided by the interest without the percentage. So in order to use the approximate formula, which is rule of 72, we have one main condition. This condition is the future value must be double the present value. So if the future value is not double the present value, we cannot use the rule of 72. So let's assume that I will give you a couple of examples and I'd like you to tell me when can we use rule of 72. Remember, all the time we can use the length formula. But for rule of 72, we must have one condition, which is the future value must be double present value. So if present value is 1000, future value is 2000. Can we use rule of 72? Yes. Why? Because future value is double the present value. Can we use len? Yes, we can use len all the time. If present value is 5000 and future value is 10,000, can we use rule of 72? Yes. Why? Future value is double the present value. Can we use len formula? Yes, we can use len formula all the time. If present value is 20,000, future value is 40,000. Can we use the rule of 72? Yes, because future value is double the present value. Can we use the length formula? Yes, we use length formula all the time. Then, our last example, if present value is 30,000, future value is 90,000. Can we use the rule of 72? No. Why? Future value is not double the present value. Can we use the length formula? We can use length formula all the time. Let's get an example. Gemma invested $30,000 in a fund offering a rate of return of 9% per year, approximately how many years will it take for the investment to reach $60,000? So let's get the variables we have here. We know that our present value is 30,000, our future value is 60,000. So the future value is double the present value. Therefore, we can use the rule of 72. So our rule of 72 will be n equals 72 divided by i times 100. So it will be 72 divided by 9% times 100. It will be 72 divided by 9, 9 equal 8 years. So approximately, it will take for Gemma 8 years to double its investment if she will earn an annual interest rate of 9%. So this is the approximate formula. Can we use the accurate formula, which is the ln formula? Yes, we can. So our n is equal to ln future value divided by present value, all of these divided by ln 1 plus i, which is equal ln 60,000 divided by 30,000, all of these divided by ln 1 plus 9%. So this will give us n equal to 8.04 years. So this is the accurate number of years, but as you see that rule of 72 and the ln formula will give us very close numbers.